careful, Mike. Don't play games with these guys. If I can get in without a firefight, that makes getting to Nasri that much easier. American. Nasri said nothing about an American. I'm not looking to advertise my presence, only to do business. Business, eh? Check with Nasri if you don't believe me. He's waiting for me, and my down payment. <laughs> I call ahead. Go on through. Can't believe you bluffed those guards. Looks like they figured out I was bluffing. Nasri's headquarters are in an old palace up the hill. That's your target. Look for alternate ways in. No need to risk a direct confrontation. I'll keep an eye out.
fuck up a lot of stairs. Second truck. Why must we hurry to unload these weapons? Nasri has plenty to display already. Found a way into the palace. Good. Going to be hot in there. Careful, Mike.
Nice collection. Wonder if any of it works. See if there's something you can use. It's in the corner, opposite the entrance. Try to get to it without getting killed. He's right here. He's got nowhere to run. This should be quick. Give me a sec. You? Who are you? 
Omar Mohammed bin Nasri. By order of the United States government, I'm placing you under arrest. Arrest? For what? No crime here. Nothing involving United States. You are in possession of illegal shoulder-mounted munitions. We'd rather you not sell them on the black market. The missiles? You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for Sold nothing. Sold? To who? I take their cash, not their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men, eh? Mike, this is bad news. If he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me? That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack in Money! Europe? Guns! Yours, if you let me go. No. We're taking you into custody. The copter will be here to pick you up. And your munitions. What? Oh, look, I pay you. You not hear me, I, I Westridge, say... Westridge, I say for I... delivery. On their way, Mike. Can't risk the consequences of letting him go. We can find the missiles some other way. Fair enough. Search the room, see what you can find.
the People Over Rich Corporations Act, or PORC Act, would prohibit lobbyists from contributing to election campaigns and require anyone affiliated with the corporation to stay 500 feet or more away from any member of the legislative branch. Opponents of the bill have labeled it a draconian offense against free speech and so laughably unenforceable as to render it a farce. Senator Darcy had no comment for INN News. Should American businesses be compensated if conflict arises in Asia? Legislation being discussed on Capitol Hill would assist with relocation costs for operations based in countries considered hostile to the United States. Detractors in both parties have attacked the bill as a massive bailout for companies that have outsourced American jobs. China and India are the largest destinations for offshore operations, with everything from manufacturing to software development being produced overseas for American businesses. A leading arms trafficker suspected of supplying terrorist organization al Samad was captured by coalition forces earlier this week. Mohammed Omar bin Nasri, based in a remote part of Saudi Arabia, was in possession of over $100 million worth of small arms, ammunition, missiles, and vehicles. His extradition to the United States is currently being worked out with the Saudi government. Terrorism, still a threat? Authors from best-selling books on terrorism say yes and point to a recent rise in incidents in the Middle East as proof of their claims. Could another incident like 9-11 be in our future? Tune in for our special feature, Terror Threat, Global Terror in Our Backyards. Coalition forces report sporadic outbreaks of violence across the Middle East, believed to be part of a power struggle between rival terrorist organizations. Army spokesman Colonel J. Robert Powers tells INN that a suspected al terrorist training camp on the outskirts of Jason was destroyed yesterday, allegedly in a daring daytime raid by members of the Al-Tair. In financial news, Halbeck Industries is facing intense scrutiny from shareholders. Just the latest bump in a troubled road for the once mighty defense contractor. Halbeck has shown increasing signs of moving into a business slump. With profits shrinking and a reported 50% of their projects canceled, pressure from shareholders is suspected to force the industry giant into massive layoffs. CEO Robert Halbeck III has given numerous reassurances to the press that the company is merely entering a, quote, re-engineering period and has no plans to institute a layoff program, but claims instead that the company is preparing for, quote, a new and exciting period of growth. This most recent statement saw Halbeck stock rise two points yesterday, but this was soon followed by a plunge of ten more points. Certainly a tricky situation for the contractor. Hard to bring back confidence from a slump like that, wouldn't you say, Roger? Definitely, Melissa. The CEO could try appearing with an attractive young co-worker, although that doesn't always help ratings, or consumer confidence. More on this story as it develops. Coalition forces report sporadic outbreaks of violence across the Middle East, believed to be part of a power struggle between rival terrorist organizations. Army spokesman Colonel J. Robert Powers tells INN that a suspected al terrorist training camp on the outskirts of Jason was destroyed yesterday, allegedly in a daring daytime raid by members of the Al-Tair sect. Today, Senator Patrick Darcy unveiled new legislation... I sure hope Nazri likes waterboarding.
This is it, Mike. We can't let either the missiles or Shahid get past us. Shahid's here to oversee the transport of the missiles. We can kill two birds with one stone. You need to get to the control tower. Check the transport logs. Once we have those, we can pinpoint the missile's exact location. So nothing on satellite. We're going to need you to transmit the exact coordinates. There's a lot of area to cover, and Asamad knows how to hide their stock.
Got a present for you. A batch of files from the Alcimont servers. Excellent work, Mike. Checking the logs now. The missiles aren't anywhere near the runway. Looks like they're being held in a munitions depot in the mountains. Checking the satellite imagery now. Looks like there's a small trail that leads to the rear of the depot. Marking it on your PDA. On it. I guess this is where planes go to die.
up on a weapons depot. Get in and take care of those missiles. Gate sealed off. Must be another way around. All right. Check out the surrounding buildings. See if there's another route inside. I really hope they're expecting a returning patrol. I feel like I'm back in the detention camp.
Got a visual on the missiles. Looks like they're being loaded into a convoy outside the warehouse. You need to get to it before they roll out. Once they're mobile, our job gets a lot harder. Yeah, I know. On it. Looks like most of the trucks have already headed out. Wait a minute. And you have heard nothing from the control tower? No, Shane. But your plane is prepped and ready for takeoff, as you asked. Looks like Shahid's got a whole lot of ugly with him. Something is wrong. Have our men come to meet the trucks at the checkpoint with the assault vehicles? At once, Shane. It's Shahid. Should I take the no, shot? No, if we do that, we lose the missiles. But if you can still intercept the convoy, we have a chance. Convoy's already headed out. The road the convoy's on snakes through the mountains. If you use the foot trails and move fast, you may be able to catch it at the checkpoint. Great day for a jog.
time, Mike. I'm on it. A lot of ground to cover. I'll get there. Looks like Shahid's second in command. And he's brought friends. They're probably there to meet up with the convoy. You need to take them out now. The trucks will be here any minute. Don't know if he knows you're coming. If you can get behind to his position without being spotted. Might be able to prevent him from warning the convoy. Got it. Tech to resolve this problem. Heed's inside, his head's got to be ringing by now. Good job, Mike. Now be careful. Check to see if Shahid's still breathing. So, you thought the death of one terrorist leader would somehow fix the world? I had a mission, I carried it out. 
Yes, and I'd commend you. But you're effectively persona non grata around here. That makes two of us, then. There's always one thing I wanted to know. After you killed Shahid, why you did what you did next? Were you trying to find out what happened to your friends? Or were you after me? Trying to bring down Hellback, perhaps? Or maybe you were just cornered, looking for a way out. Blood on your hands, not enough. On behalf of the American government, I am here to take you into custody, Shahid. Behalf of America? America answers only to its wealth. Coming from one of the richest men in the Middle East and son of a privileged family, that seems ironic. You are here because America's greed demands it. Your country sleeps at Helbeck's feet like a dog, hungry for its weapons. Save the preaching. I'm here for the missiles you stole. The missiles I stole, they shipped them to me. Then brand me a thief? Shipped them to you? I'm not looking to shoot you in the head right now. If you have something you think I should know, I'm listening. So you may use it against me in your courts? I think not. I'm serious. If Halbeck's engaged in weapon trafficking, they're going to court along with you. You are Halbeck's agent in this. Why would you allow such a thing? I don't work for Halbeck. Ah, and neither did I. A comforting thought, but it is a lie. You already know something is wrong. The data you found in the detention cells of our camp, that was not stolen missile data. That was given to us. You have two choices. You can believe me or kill me. Halbeck uses you, but you do not see their influence. You will. Trust me in this. I'll take that PDA of yours. That contact list on it should prove handy. Take it. It will only implicate your country. Proof of the corruption at the heart of yeah, your country. Yeah, that's fascinating. Now, did you ever play make-believe when you were a kid? What? Pretend you can fly. Where are you taking me? Now, you get to be the plane <laughs> chief. Mike? I'm here. Shahid is dead. And the missiles? I've disabled the convoy. I haven't confirmed how many missiles we've recovered. Got his PDA. Looks like that's something to go on. Your first priority is... Westridge? Westridge, do you read me? Get out of there. Mina? I'm tracking multiple missiles homing in on your coordinates. What the Get out hell? Of here. We talk first. You're in danger. You need to get out of Saudi Arabia. But Halbeck, the missiles. Shahid's dead. Mike, Halbeck is the one that sent the missiles to your location. I think they wanted to erase the evidence of the missiles entirely, and you along with it. Great, so now I'm reduced to being evidence? How did they get these coordinates? That's the other problem. I think they have someone inside Alpha Protocol. And whoever it is, fed them the coordinates for the missile strike. That's pretty dramatic of you. Considering what I've seen about Halbeck's satellite system on the news, they could have been monitoring the area. The targeting information was precise, Mike. And the missile logged on within seconds of you contacting us. So you're saying someone assigned to Saudi Arabia? I don't have to tell you, that's a short list. I know, Mike. That's why no one knows I'm talking to you right now. We'll figure this out. For now, I need a way out of Saudi Arabia with the information I got from Shahid. Already on it, Mike. Thanks, Mina. And thanks for saving my ass. It's my job, but you're welcome. Besides, if you died out in the field, it'd look bad on my resume. 
Fine. So I need to get back to base. Can you get any choppers out here? Mike, you can't come back. What? You're rogue. I checked the feeds. They've already sent out notifications to the intelligence agencies about your status. If they find you, they'll give you up to the government. If they don't kill you first. Wait, what about Alpha Protocol? That's what the agency is for. To allow agents to carry out no. ops like this. It's to allow the government to deny ops like this. So that if they're exposed, they can say they had no involvement. Mike, you're on your own. Alpha Protocol's the only thing protecting you right now. Still analyzing the information I got from Shahid. So far, it checks out. Looks like Halbeck's been busy. So there was a connection between Al Samad and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets: Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there. Or had one. As for Rome, it looks like an Al Samad cell was activated, but I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald's son, the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. Would be nice if I could actually tell someone. Uh, I mean, besides you. No one will listen, Mike. Not only are you rogue, but Halbeck's got an inside alpha protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? Better. <laughs> I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Well, I can't go back to the agency empty-handed. And doing some traveling and espionage is why I took this job in the first place. As for the women, well, I've already met you. I can strike that one off the list. Charming. Besides, it'll be fun. If you say so. Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Judging from the data, Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a Cold War... They've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one.
reporter. The photographer? Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei. But after that, we lost track of her. I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. You wouldn't believe the day I've had. Misery loves company. Care to share? No, not really. Same old Saudi Arabia. Not quite like the brochure, huh? I'm Scarlet. Mike. So, Mike, what brings you to this exciting corner of the world? Secret agent. <laughs> right. It's better if you don't believe me anyhow. All right, be honest. Has that worked on anyone? How impressed are you? Not. All right. My turn's over. How about you? Those your legs? Other page. Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Photojournalist. One of the best. Dangerous work around these parts, I'd imagine. If there's no risk, it's not important. I think you're on to something. Here, call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. If I hear anything juicy, you're the first person I'll call. I appreciate that. You know, there's something about you. Makes me think I might just be sitting next to a headline. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just a normal guy. Are you sure? Mostly. Okay, if you say so. Bad things happen to all kinds of people. You might get lucky. I think I'll keep an eye on you regardless. I'd appreciate that. Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? Nice digs. I see where all that Black Ops funding really goes now. Invoking Alpha Protocol does have its upside. Jealous. Of you freezing your butt off in Moscow? Not so much. Well, as long as you're not taking a vacation on a beach in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm afraid that's classified, Agent Thornton. All right, down to business then. Do you have a plan of attack for Moscow? Thought I'd hit some ritzy nightclubs, announce my name to anybody who'll listen, maybe flirt with a mob boss's girlfriend. That should get the right people's attention. Okay. But I'm not going to bail you out if you get taken. Ruin all my fun, why don't you? What will you follow up on first? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved through Leningradsky Station. There might be intel there. I've also got a CIA informant codenamed Grigori, and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important. Although more information would be helpful. But from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. Lazo might be able to provide some leads too. Plus, they might be able to tell me what bars and strip joints I should hit while I'm here. If you're trying to make me jealous... I'm an international super spy. I have obligations. Just call when you have anything new, hotshot. Oh, great. Picture of Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah! With three exclamation points.
I sure hope Nazare likes waterboarding. shoot through those boxes you are crouching behind. Wouldn't want that. Ah, American. CIA. I am surprised I did not hear you in Moscow. I'm on vacation. So you come here for the scenery? Or are you here to catch a train, darling? I'm here looking for the Halbeck missiles that were smuggled through Moscow. Oh, <laughs> very truthful of you. Bad practice in our business. But we should talk. I do not want to shoot you, as I only have so many bullets. Could have fooled me. I propose a deal. I am here for the same reason you are, to find this Halbeck train. We work together, we both get what we want. Stay out of my way and we'll get along fine. <laughs> I accept your terms. Do not harm my men and they will not fire on you. Is it a deal? Hmm. Well, considering you have the drop on me. No thanks, you crazy bitch. So be it. Another time, then. It is too bad. I think we will have company soon. Farewell, darling. Guys in the track suits. No idea. They may be guarding the shipment. Okay. 
Looks like I've walked into the middle of a turf war. Hope you're not planning on getting involved. May not have much choice. Just remember why you're here, Mike. the guys in the tracksuits. No idea. They may be guarding the shipment. What the fuck was that? Looks like I've walked into the middle of a turf war. Hope you're not planning on getting involved. May not have much choice. Just remember why you're here, Mike. Like a bitch dad. Just hacked a security system, but not sure what it was for. Looks like it's unlocked some doors to the neighboring building.
Watch out, Mike. I'm picking up movement on that water tower. Great. Snipers on the tower. in, and I've discovered where the weapons are going. Upload the data. I'll pass it along to the authorities.
squad, moving out. what you get for playing on the tracks. Walked into a toy store. Looks like the shipment's ready to go to its client. We're not going to have time to warn the local authorities. And they won't have time to confiscate the weapons before they're moved out. It'd be safer to destroy them. Consider it done. I think I can find just the thing. According to the station layouts, there should be a storage room across the tracks. <laughs>
found the shipping manifests, but no mention of the missiles. Weapons, a lot of them, are coming through this train yard, but not the ones we're looking for. All right, get out of there then. It still could help us. So much for getting out of here the easy way. That must be Dimitri. Michael, I tell you not to fire on my men. Then you go put bullets in them. You have a listening problem, I think. Sounds like your men didn't listen either. You did tell them to stay out of my way, right? You fired on them! Yeah, good thing they were so well trained they didn't see it coming. You had, what, a dozen guys here? You should have hired me to handle the whole thing. <sighs> Michael, darling, now that is an excellent idea. I accept. I will be in touch, Michael. I think we will have much to discuss, you and I. I don't think so. I'd rather just kill you. Oh, you really know how- like an animal, and you are not even cornered. So, you ready to give up yet? If so, I accept your surrender. Ugh, so boring. Give up? Give up on you? No, I don't think so.
In Moscow today, authorities are baffled by the aftermath of a shootout at the Leningradsky train yard, which left several dead and an estimated $500,000 in property damage. The identities of the victims have not yet been released, but according to an unnamed source within the investigation, several of the deceased were armed with military-grade weaponry and body armor. No word yet as to whether these men were associated with any foreign government or were acting independently. In related news, Russia's Prime Minister has announced that new legislation will be enacted early next year to tighten security at Russia's borders. Looks like the Iron Curtain may be coming down again, huh? It certainly does. Terrorism, still a threat? Authors from best-selling books on terrorism say yes and point to a recent rise in incidents in the Middle East as proof of their claims. Could another incident like 9-11 be in our future? Thank you. 